Dear John, I don't know how brave you are, but this is something I certainly wouldn't do. I'm led to believe it is possible to purify your own pee to the point where it's drinkable. If it's true, would you be prepared to show us? Not you peeing, but you drinking it. Much respect if you're up for it, Damien from Liverpool. Damien, you're twisted, mate, but I'm going to give it a go. As you can see, I've got three pint glasses in front of me. The first one is filled with a well-known brand of bottled water. The second one, tap water. I quite happily drink either of those two. The question today is, do I have enough faith in science to drink what's going to go into the third? My own purified pee. First off, I need an unpurified sample. Now, drinking your own pee is nothing new. NASA astronauts do it all the time. But I've got a feeling that their methods might be a bit more high-tech than the ones we're going to be using today. There we go. One pint of pee. I've got a fancy little gizmo here. It's called a TDS meter. It measures the total dissolved solids in a sample of water. Anything between 300 and 600 parts per million is considered drinkable tap water. Anything below 10 is considered to be really pure. First up, our sample of bottled water. Now that's coming in at around 350. Next, our tap water, about 440 for that one. Lastly, let's have a look at our pee. Good grief. That's so far off the scale, I've got to multiply it by 10. 3,750 parts per million. That's going to take quite a bit of purifying. That's the challenge today, then. Can I use a bit of backyard science to turn this sample into something as drinkable as one of these? Here's the backyard bit. I've got an ordinary spray gun that you can pick up at any garden centre. And here's the clever bit. This is a reverse osmosis filter. I'm going to connect up the two parts so that the spray gun forces my unpurified pee through the filter, the waste products come out this bottom tube, and hopefully the purified water out of this tube. Hopefully, that is. 95% of your pee is made up of water, about 2% is urea, and the rest is minerals. Building up a nice amount of pressure. The reverse osmosis system we're using is a small-scale version of what yachts use to make seawater drinkable. Oh, we're up to maximum pressure now. I can hear the release valve going. What I'm going to do now is release the pressure from the garden thingy through the filter, and hopefully our water will come out nice and pure. The pump that is used needs to be able to create about two atmospheres of pressure. That's the maximum amount this one can do. Oh, it's going all over my arm. Oh. Well, there we have it. Oh, Lord, still smells a bit. Well, I'm not drinking that. I think we're going to put it through another couple of times. It still stinks a bit, but now's the moment of truth. Now, remember, we had a reading of 3,750 last time, so this time we've got... 550. Well, that's supposed to be safe, so I guess I'd better give it a go. Hmm, plenty of nose. Mmm, mmm. Ugh! Maybe if you're in the middle of the desert and there's nothing else to drink, then just possibly, but otherwise, no way.